welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today i'm doing a reading for aries sun moon rising and venus so if you have aries placements this reading is for you if this reading doesn't resonate please head over to the videos tab there might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance please remember the time and energy are fluid take what resonates and leave the rest today i'm working with one of my favorite decks Ethereal visions. So um, let's see what is your what is the overall energy for Aries? What is the overall energy for Aries? What is coming towards my Aries? How are you all today? Thank you for all your likes, subscribes, comments, donations to me and my channel. It truly, truly, truly means the world to me. It helps me to show up daily for you, for me and the collective. So I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my world, I do Aries readings daily. I also do one, one minute reads, which is in the short section of my channel. And there's always something fun and fabulous in the communities tab. So come say good day. I will be finishing your reading with an Oracle card as well as manifestation cards. So stay till the end. So here we go. So in your overall energy, we have the eight of wands. Overall energy, Eight of Wands is a great energy. Why? Because Eight of Wands is all about momentum. It's about action. Now, we are in Sagittarius season. Are we in Sagittarius season? You will start to feel that because this is fire energy. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Eight of Wands. And as we get more and more into the Sagittarius energy, we will feel more like ourselves being another fellow fire sign. But what does this say to me? Eight of Wands, this is a period of a lot of activity. You can see how quickly and swiftly these ones are um, coming through. So maybe all of a sudden, I'm picking up for somebody here, all of a sudden a lot of momentum and action has picked up. It's like all things are happening at once. There's a lot of communication, there's a lot of movement, there is a lot of um, things to be done and to do is what I'm picking up. So there is a lot of things happening all at once. That's the energy I'm picking up. You let me know how you see it fit. So I'll give you an example. It's, it's almost like, you know, you're starting a new job and as you're starting the new job, you're getting all these emails about onboarding, induction, training. At the same time, there's all these meetings in your email asking to introduce you in your new role. So there's that. So your calendar and diary is picking up. Your communication is picking up. And all in to on top of everything else, you still need to familiarize yourself with this new company, your role, people that are around you. So there is this overall sense of a lot just a lot of activity and it's all good activity so I'm picking up this really good energy it's almost like a whoosh that's that's the sound spirit is giving me a whoosh so it's like this wave of excitement so excitement is something else that I'm picking up for you Aries so you let me know it could be if in the love context this could be a lot of communication with this new partner new new in love interest a lot of you know back and forth plans are being made to meet up do exciting fun things that's the kind of vibe i'm picking up now what's happened you've got the seven of cups so this is interesting so this is your energy and this is what's coming towards you so there's a lot of options so if you are in a period at the moment where you feel like there are not many options Aries you have a lot of options coming to you and I feel like this is why your overall energy is the eight of wands it as I said at the start of your reading without even seeing this card it's almost like all things are coming at once it's everything say you're moving house starting a new job um, or relocating, traveling, planning holidays, catching up with family members, reigniting a passion. It's all happening at once. And here you are, you're wondering, well, which, which, which way do I go? What do I do? So let's see what you don't see coming to get this storyline. Because, I mean, whilst there are lots of options, you will need to, without even looking at what you don't see coming, I'm almost getting this high priestess and... Um, hermit vibes that you will need to take a step back in in spite of all this activity make sure you make some moment of quiet time and respite because you will be making a lot of decisions during this time but these decisions are not just going to impact your immediate timeline it's going to have a huge impact in months to come weeks and months to come that's what spirit is saying to me all right so let's see what we don't see coming king of cups so definitely a lot of options in love like if i look at these three cards 
this could be um, a lot of options in love for somebody a lot of communication so more than one one option I'm picking up three I don't know why three but three is coming up strongly in this um, sense um, the other thing that I'm picking up with this king of cups is if you don't know or if you're feeling stuck in the seven of cups vibe who is giving you this king of cups vibe so if you're looking for advice and guidance about, you know, who is giving me, so what is the King of Cups vibe? The King of Cups vibe is someone that you feel more comfortable with, you feel at ease, you feel you can trust, someone who makes the time to listen to you, male, female, we're talking energy. So how will you know, like, you know, if you're assessing various options, particularly because this is what's coming towards you, Seven of Cups, what you don't see coming is King of Cups. So how you will, how will you know <laughs> which how can you set apart the roses from the weeds <laughs> or the roses from the thorns is go for the king of cups vibe see how people are interacting with you do are they patient enough are they understanding are they um generous and kind with their time are they willing to listen to what you have to say or are they rushing you because this here i feel a lot of rushing um energy so the king of cups will be the opposite of rushing yes you'll have to make decisions but they'll also give you time and space and they will also make themselves available to hear and help you out if you need guidance and support so that's how that's how you'll be able to differentiate so i feel like somebody needs to hear that in the context of love one of your options could be king of cups could be literally a water sign so it could be cancer scorpio pisces the other thing i'm picking up with this king of cups is this is someone who is very emotionally balanced and level-headed they will make themselves known that they're interested in you but at the same time they will back off because they've had experiences in the past and they know they basically know what the needs of an aries is so rather than yes not the, it, right next to each other yes they will express their interest they will say i'm interested in you i'm really passionate about you i want to date you and all the things but at the same time they're going to back off and allow you to make the decision for yourself they, because they've done the healing work, they are emotionally available and secure. So that's the energy I'm picking up. Very beautiful energy for love. And um, yeah, in terms of business, this could this will be a boss that will be, you know, um, a great coach, a great mentor, someone you will learn a lot from, someone who is willing to share their wisdom. That's the energy. Now, this is interesting. You have to be very, very careful because this in the next couple of weeks, Ten of Wands. So these options, if you say yes, so one of the biggest, strongest message Spirit is giving to me is in the next two weeks, give or take, Aries, don't say yes to everything. If you have a lot of options, invites, parties, engagements, catch-ups to go to, use some discernment. And this is the thing, Eight of Wands, a lot of activity coming all at once. You, you, you will have to pick and choose where you want to go. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but that's the guidance spirit is giving me based on the 10 of wands. Otherwise, you're just basically going to crack under the pressure because you said yes to everything and everyone. Remember, you're one person. You can't be in all places at once. You can't, you physically, you know, whilst in theory, it might sound great. You might be able to adjust your, um, diary and what have you but what i'm picking up is things can come up allow for that in your diary in your calendar things come up allow for delays lots of traffic lots of you know shopping centers are busy so if you have to buy lots of presents it's that kind of energy so if you don't spread yourself too thin is the big strong message coming up for you aries at this moment in time of course depending on your situation and circumstance and this is not just one area in life i feel like there are competing priorities and demands on your time and energy. And that is why spirit is asking you to use discernment to really take care of yourself during this period of time. Otherwise you will wear yourself out and it will lead to exhaustion. And when you're exhausted, you know, good to you, you know, good to anybody. And you, you know, you won't be fun to be around. Um, I mean, I'm an Aries, so I can, I know that for myself, where, where you know i just go into retreat mode so let me know what you what do you do do you even go to the thing i mean a lot of the times then i just i i don't like canceling last minute because i'm a person of my word but each to their own you know you might cancel on certain things but that might not sit well and again that's going to add to your load if you're that type of aries that you know once you you on once you give your commitment your word you you honor it 
but in that honoring it you might start to feel this real load depending on the type of areas you are i am one that commit you know honors my commitments so if i say i'm coming to something i go to the thing and i make myself available um you know but at the same time if i have too many options i'm always that person that uses discernment okay which ones are full body hell yes that i want to go to and which ones are the ones that you know they can wait or i can catch up another time because there's just too much okay so what's your advice queen of swords i mean i don't make any of this stuff up so there's a strong message with the king of cups right here and the queen of swords this could also be divine counterpart right here the king and the queen so these are energies and you can reverse the energies so maybe you are feeling more like the king of cups energy and this person might be the queen of swords um, or vice versa so what this queen of swords however is saying to me is this is what you have to do you have to cut cut to the chase you have to use the discernment you have to make some decisions you have to use that sword to have that clarity and cut through the illusion which is this seven of cups because we do have the seven of cups so in your advice spirit is saying to you that aries not making a decision is not going to help you during this time just staying stuck with these options is not go because the more you stay stuck in these options the more you're saying yes to all the options which is more impost on your time and energy um so what spirit is saying to you at this moment in time is aries make decisions make decisions from a place of alignment from a place of clarity from a place of longevity what is it that you know in the long term is going to serve you and this could be two weeks it could be longer two months is also another time frame that spirit is giving to me why two months say you're starting a new job there will be you know when you start a new job you're not gonna going to and know everything in two weeks it's going to take you some time to get to know the company, to get to know the people, to get to know the processes, the systems. And that is all going to, you know, it's all accumulative. And with this Queen of Swords, this is what it's saying that, okay, don't just make decision based on short term. Also think about the longer. And two months is not really that long. I mean, if you think about the festive season coming into the new year, you know, there's a lot of holidays and public holidays. Um, I think you guys call it in... in America and Canada, I'm not sure about Canada, bank holidays. In Australia, we call it public holidays. So, yeah, just use discernment during this time and be that queen of swords. And, I mean, Aries, you're a very decisive and action-oriented sign. You would already know. This is about bossing up and knowing what you want. The, 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 the only thing I see here with, the, with Aries is because Aries is kind and generous, you may, this is why you find yourself in this situation. You may find it difficult to say no. You may find it difficult to walk away from certain engagements. You may find it no, you may find it difficult to say no to extra work, for example, because you might want to prove to your new workplace that it, you've got what it takes. But what with the Queen of Swords, this is saying is that even if you're starting a new job, you need to be realistic. You need to set the right expectations. Because if you start to, you know, set, don't set yourself up for failure. There is no such thing as failure. But what this is saying is that don't set yourself up to be in this situation where you, then Aries, you're the one that always ends up carrying the load for the collective. That's a very strong message here. Because I know when we start something, we want to put in, we want to be all gun ho same, same with um, relationship. You know, if this King of Cups always wants to make dates and all these things, but you need some downtime, then ask for the downtime. Be the Queen of Swords and say, hey, you know what? Maybe let's in a couple of days or how about the weekend? You know, give yourself that time. So when you do go on that date, you're fully present not coming after work after a long day feeling overwhelmed then you go to the date and you're not even looking forward to it that's kind of the vibe so what's in your outcome the chariot love it i love this the queen of swords the king of swords definitely a king of cups i mean definitely for somebody here new new love somebody here is traveling with the chariot card for sure in the next two weeks you might be traveling somewhere or you might be relocating or moving there is definitely this vibe of move so could be moving to a new job a new role a better position 
um, some of you might be moving houses as well with the chariot card but I feel like this this move here particularly with the king of cups and the chariot card which is cancer energy this is giving me all the vibes of um, deep emotional fulfillment so if you're looking to move buy a new house um, or move suburbs move jobs this is something that's going to give you deep emotional fulfillment and spirit is saying yes this is in your outcome position go for it this change this um this change is going to be very refreshing it's something that you have been desiring it's something that's going to reconnect you to parts of yourself that you might have disconnected with and it's going to reveal certain levels of um enjoyment and it's it's giving me this vibe of peace i don't know how best to describe this but it's almost like with the king of cups and the chariot card this is giving me this energy that this move will be very blissful peaceful um you will feel very safe and secure and protected whatever this move is whether it's in terms of job you might feel more secure that this job is more you know secure financially or it could be that this company is well known and you know they're not going to go out of business particularly if you've been through a turbulent um, time in your career or fire through because of finances or something same thing with relationship if you've been in a relationship in the past where you know it was hot and cold you may have been treated as an option um or when you weren't given the priority all that is about to shift with this chariot and this king of cups now you will be getting what you deserve and desire but that's because at a deep emotional level you also know what you want and as a result of that level of clarity you are going to be able to manifest and bring to reality in this 3D world of what is energetically aligned and a match for you. So I am loving this energy very much for you, Aries. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle cards. What's the message for my beautiful Aries? Wow, this card came right out. So it's card number 38. I don't know if you can see it. It's um, Gypsy Columbine. I'm going to read that for you she's got um it's she's got red dots on her cheeks and a beautiful headpiece and um she's got a drum a little drum that she, it's hanging there on the side so let me read this message for you it's very beautiful i just wanted to share that few few details about the card the free spirit in you is rewilding itself, shedding social conditioning and past patterns of behavior. It is shaking of socialization and emerging anew like a snake shedding a skin. The wild one within isn't a savage. It is raw, yes, but also wise, authentic, beautiful, and with a deep instinctive knowing as to what you must be. Can a bird ever be truly happy whilst trying to be a fish? True freedom is to be truthfully yourself. Isn't it interesting? I mentioned that all these things about the king of cups and the chariot card and here is your confirmation politeness and people pleasing not out of respect but out of fear you will otherwise be rejected is a form of social conditioning that dulls the wild one within if you reject that conditioning in favor of rewilding of getting in touch with your true instincts and nature you will exchange lukewarm tolerance from others for their passionate admiration and love and for those that cannot love you, that are afraid of how much life is in you, then let them be. They do not belong in your world, nor you in theirs. The jungle of life is a vibrant, colorful and exciting place, but not everyone is ready to live there as yet. That is just the way of things sometimes. The mysterious gypsy Columbine comes to you with a message. It's now time to let yourself off the hook, to forgive and forget to allow what, what's been to have been and to start again no regrets no fear no doubt it's time to hit the call of the wild and ask yourself what will what would set my spirit free oh my god this is all of the things that i spoke about in your reading go watch it if you've just joined this is just off the charts and this is why i love pulling oracle cards if you cannot answer the bold question quite yet then it's time to get in touch with your freedom seeking wild one within dance play sing drum wear a feather in your hair and go barefoot let your instincts rather than your intellect guide you swap the certainty of the ego for the mystery of the soul a new song wants you to dance to it wow i love it your affirmation is 
Gypsy free, gypsy in me. My wild body liberated sets my spirit free. I love that. This is so good. So, so good. All right. Let's pull some manifestation cards, which are here. Okay, so what are you manifesting right now? What does my Aries need to know? Anything else? Thank you for all your likes, subscribes, donations to my channel. Thank you for everyone that's emailing me about Bali. Yes, Bali is happening April 2020 for Aries season. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness, so many of you have reached out, emailed me, connected with me. I am absolutely in awe and I'm loving connecting with you all. So thank you to everyone. Um, yes, so if you desire information on Bali Santorini, please email me. If you desire personal reading, email me. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or donate to my channel, all the information is in the description box. Bali is happening. It is just becoming more and more real every single day. Um, it is, yeah, I mean, truly, what can I say? I have been to Bali so many, many times, like easily more than 10 times. And it's one of the places I keep going back to. Um, and one of the reasons why I keep going back to Bali, I think I'm just going to share it, particularly if you haven't been to Bali, it's because the energy of Bali is just so healing and grounding for my soul. And this is something that I want to share with those that are coming and I only have four spots available. It is the energy, it's the energy in the space of where we're going to be and the land. And it's a very cultural, um, Bali is so cultural and multidimensional on so many levels. I really, with every single trip I've made, I have deepened my spiritual journey um, in Bali. And probably that is one of the main reasons why I keep going back because each time I go back, I deepen my journey even more. I welcome more new modalities into my world and I've worked with so many modalities and I've even learned so many modalities after experiencing it firsthand in my life. Um, and a lot of it is from my journey and all the various trips I've done. Now, this trip is curated in a way that there is a balance of everything doing being seeing experiencing and all the things and the reason for that is because that's a lot of fire <laughs> energy there because everyone that is emailing me everyone is in aries everyone is celebrating their birthday wants to celebrate their birthday in um aries season in bali which is fantastic but uh, being in aries i know what it, what an aries is like so that is, yeah, so there has been a lot of thought that has gone into curating this amazing epic trip, which will be just next level for mind, body, soul connection, if that's what you're desiring. But not to forget that you'll be sharing this with other people who are on the same wavelength, you know. Um, so that's what differentiates this trip from other trips that you might see, you know, because here you all connecting with me through this channel and you know, you know, me my values how i think through my readings and those are the type of people that will be attracted to this trip so you know anyway if you have been having questions or desires and want more information just email me anyway so love i'm happy and comfortable with my relationships status amen and yes um and the other thing about bali the chariot keeps coming up so you know chariot is a card of travel and it is also international travel and forward movement so you know when you know you, you know this ha this is for everything when you know in love when you know in a job when you know in something is a hell yes for you in your body you feel it and then you'll just know if this is calling you purpose i remove myself from the dramas of others and focus on myself amen yes ten of wands Income. I earn my income with people who respect me. Amen. In bold, big letters. I distance myself for those who don't respect or support me. Amen, amen, amen. You want to be with people who love and respect you for who you are. Aries, what an epic reading. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I do have a huge favor to ask you. YouTube has changed the algorithms. It's impacting my viewership, subscriptions, and the reach of my videos. For me to continue to show up daily, it's very, very important that you comment, share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hoping that all of you have subscribed already. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me to continue to show up daily. I think this is one thing that people don't understand, that 
it's not just about numbers and things like that. It's about the ability for content creators like me who want to do the right thing and show up daily and do these readings for you daily. But there's a lot of time, energy and effort that goes in. And if there's no viewership or low viewership, um, lack of comments, engagement, no reach, like I can see that the videos are not reaching to my audience, then that is not helpful. And then I have to ask myself, do I continue do, to do this daily? I'm going to be open and transparent. I'm an Aries. I like to keep things very crystal clear and transparent in my world. And if you've been in my world, if you're an OG, you would know that. So I'm just going to keep it very real that if you want me to continue to do these readings, it's very important that I see your support. It's It doesn't cost you anything, but it's that energetic exchange that yes, you want to see this and that's how I know you want me to show up. Hey, if you don't show up, I don't show up. It's really that simple. And remember Aries, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.